Hello there, this is MathCasts with Mr. Burko, and this is chapter 12.2, Constructing Tessellations Using Translations and Reflections. So in uh, this chapter section, what we're trying to do is take uh, subshapes and combine them with other polygons, and uh, we're transforming them in some ways to create a tessellated plane. And so what I want you to be able to do by the uh, end of this chapter is to identify how translations and reflections can be used to create a tessellation and to create tessellating patterns using two or more polygons. So in your example in your book on page 200 and, uh, sorry, 454, you have a tessellated plane here. It looks a lot like this one. Anyway, it's the same polygons. And uh, it's, you're asked to identify what polygons and what transformations are used to create this tessellation and to explain if the area of the tessellating tile does it change during the tessellation. So uh, let's take a look at how this works. You'll see there are some hexagons and you'll see there are some squares and you'll see that there are some triangles and these are the three polygons that are used. They are regular polygons so that means that all of the interior angles are the same and if you look really carefully you'll see there's the pattern here uh, this and this and this and that and one more that so this if I pull that out of there that is our repeating pattern. You'll see it here and uh, let's maybe just change the color of that so that it really stands out. You'll see it there, you'll see it here, you'll see it here, and it would continue that way, and it continues up, and these are the two squares that would continue down. So it's this group of polygons that creates the tessellated plane. And uh, so two squares, two equilateral triangles, and a hexagon and uh, it's translated. So when you it's moved, it's translated here to the right, uh, translated up, it's translated down, it's translated, so in other words, it's translated vertically and horizontally. And so this, this tessellation is created using translations. Now the area of the tessellating tile remains the same throughout the tessellation. And uh, you know this because you don't see any gaps, you don't see any overlaps. It's the same here. So I'll make this one another pink here. You can see here is the pattern continuing tessellating, as it were, tiling the plane. So um, in this chapter you're going to be asked to describe how these uh, transformations are used to tessellate the plane. Thank you. This has been MathCasts with Mr. Burko, Chapter 12.2.